good DNA family? family. It's your boy, Abby. And it's your girl, Destiny. And if you're rocking with DNA family. All day, every day. You know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to smash that notification bell. Smash. We are back with Reactmas Day 15. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really crazy. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas, you guys. It's crazy. Just like 10 days away. We are getting so close. But, all right. Um, we are back with part number two of Celine Dion's These Are the Special Times album. And, guys, first off, we just wanted to say we saw YouTube actually blocked our part one. But it's currently in dispute. So, probably within the next few days, you guys will be able to see it. So, just... I mean, you can keep checking here and there, but just give it, I would say, about like two, three days and it should be good. Um, and it was weird because it wasn't blocked at first. So I was like, why did it just get blocked? But I don't know, guys. Hopefully you can see it very soon. We'll get it figured out. Um, however, though, this is part two and you guys, part one blew us away. It was really, 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 really good. So I'm very excited for this next part. You ready? I'm ready. Right. I'm so ready. Let's get Me it. Too. Let's go. What an intro. Just the echo and just her voice. It's just, oh, that's so perfect. Yes. That's so good. Yeah. The organ. She paused Before right where it just went. The choir even started. I loved that build up. That was amazing. 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 Like really, really, really good. And you guys, oh my goodness. That was beautiful. That was dope. Wow. <laughs> You can listen to an audio, mm -hmm. an audio version of something, and it feels like I'm there. Like, it feels like I can see them performing on the stage right now, the choir, just singing the song. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of, um, yeah, I'm just kind of speechless right now. <laughs>
reacted to Oh Come All He Faithful with um with pentatonics. And it's just so crazy how you can listen to different groups, different artists, different people perform a song and how different every single one of them are. And just the instrumentations and the choir and Celine's voice in this one is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah, this <sighs> she has such a beautiful voice, y'all. Uh, yeah. I don't want to keep, you know, stopping, but it's just you got to keep commenting on how amazing she is and like you know we hear this this song all the time in church and just hearing her sing it, it's just like wow beautiful it's beautiful yeah took it to church on that one like not only did she just take that to church she took that but to church. before we even get into this next song like <coughs> like i just said it's really crazy how you can be like listening to something and feel that you're there and that ending sound like it was a closing night mm -hmm. at like a concert or a, a church a church, church like concert, yeah. yeah christmas like thing that you were doing and that was the closing thing with the choir and all sorry uh our cat is going to work <laughs> on this blanket and she was having fun with this ball she was playing and she just flipped over into her food bowl so <laughs> come here you want to say hi <laughs> She's, she's just fired um, up right she now. She is because she's had catnip and she's on another level. Catnip? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, no. See, that's why. <laughs> um, but, wow. That song was phenomenal. You guys, oh, I don't even know if I can finish out this album because every song so far from part one to this first second part has yeah. been amazing. Yeah, it's been really good. So, uh, the next song we're about to react to. Mm, mm, mm. One of my favorite songs. The Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasting on the Open Fire. I love this wait, song. Wait, 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 guys. Let me just, before we even get started, every single time it's Christmas, if I'm like, hey, babe, can you play like a Christmas song? He always wants to play Chestnuts Roasting. He sings it in such a loud voice that he just loves the song. Yeah. Sing it. Huh? Sing it for them. No, I'm good. Sing it for them. I'm good. Sing it for them. I'm good. Y'all tell him to sing it. <laughs> but um but um yes, so we're finally doing this one. So I'm mm. ready to see Celine's I'm ready part to it. Let's ready? go, let's get it. Alright, let's go. She's not trusting on a moment mm. Jack Frost nipping at your nose Your tight carols being sung by a choir And folks wow. dressed up like Eskimo 
it sounds so different, so different. hearing a female sing it mm -hmm. because every single song of yeah, chestnuts that I've ever heard has always been by a man. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> and it's always doom, deep doom, and loud. Doom, doom, doom. So Jack just Frost hearing. Snipping at your nose. <laughs> So just hearing like a female like Celine sing it yeah. sounds way different. Yeah. Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe help to make the season bright. Tiny tots with their eyes on the glow. Lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to Those strings are on a whole nother level. It is. it is so beautiful with this just orchestra and just oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> Many times, many ways Merry Christmas Merry Christmas Merry Christmas To Y'all, that was just simply beautiful. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was that was really good. Yeah. And like um, Destiny was saying, um, it just sounds very different hearing a female artist sing it. Mm -hmm. She killed that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I don't for think any ones. covers or anything that I have heard <clears throat> was by a female like i just don't ever see them or hear mm -hmm. them so wow she did that for sure all right you guys so the next song is christmas eve you ready all right i'm ready Oh, 
thing where she's trying to blow us away, right? Because this is what happened. When we were doing part one of the album, it was like slower because mm -hmm. Oh Holy Night started it off, right? right? It was a little bit slower. Then the next song was a little bit slower. Then she came in with Blue Christmas. And we said it gave us such a jazzy like feel and then yeah. here we go again we just did two that were slower and now on christmas uh, eve it's more she upbeat had, she has a pattern i see mm -hmm. i see now <laughs> oh, and in my heart there is no doubt that this is going to be the brightest holiday because here you are with me oh, baby baby The next one is these are the special times so of course we got to react to the song that's the title of the album as well so this this better be a good one. Oh, you already know everything has been fire so far yes This like got the instrumentations of something old school. Oh really? Like it's just giving me like an old school vibe. Does it? Yes. Hey, in these moments. 
It just keeps getting better and better. It's like it keeps growing as a song and keeps adding more um, diversity to it. It's just getting better and better. I'm really enjoying this one. Yep. the type of song where when you go to the concert and everybody just has their phones out mm -hmm. and then just waving back and forth mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah mm -hmm. that's that type of song i enjoy that one all right you guys the next song is happy xmas and then war is over you ready i'm ready let's get it oh so this is christmas What have you done? I was gonna say that's why I got confused for a minute because it's Happy Xmas and normally we say Merry like Xmas or Merry Christmas, mm. but it was Happy. Mm. <laughs> Another year over, a new one just begun, 
And so this is Christmas I hope you have fun The near and the dear ones The old and the young A very merry Christmas This is a different feel. I'm really enjoying the choirs in these in these songs. I love it. I love I them. I love it. They're really doing their thing. Yeah. Smooth ending. Nice. That's nice. Every single one of them has such a beautiful ending. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful. Okay, you guys, we have made it to song 12 out of 12. And the last song on her album is Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> So, of course, we're going to know this song, but let's hear Celine sing it. You ready? Mm hmm. Let's go, guys. Mm. Such a different vibe. So different. Hey. 
Yeah. Wow. Like, I love how her last song on the album is the most interactive. Mm -hmm. Like, she wants you to sing along with her. Mm -hmm. She wants you to have that energy. Like, yeah. We want to wish you were there. That was cool. I enjoyed that. That little, that little last song. That was nice. Okay. So, you guys. Man. Number one, that album was absolutely Fire. amazing. Fire. Like, it was so good. There was not one, not one single song on that album that I didn't like. Yeah. I literally liked every single song. However, there are some that I liked more than others. Mm -hmm. Um, but every song was phenomenal. Right. So if you guys didn't see our part one, hopefully by now, like I said at the beginning of the video, hopefully you can see the part one. But still, even after hearing all of these songs, for sure, Oh Holy Night is still my favorite. Really? I just it's something about it and I just really, really loved Oh Holy Night yeah but then some of the more like upbeat songs like blue christmas blue was christmas amazing was yeah, I like blue um, christmas a lot. and then like christmas eve and feliz navidad was all like really good and they were like the more like upbeat songs yeah. and they were really really good um okay. i really liked oh come all ye faithful mm -hmm. and i really liked um chestnuts roasting she completely changed that song she did. Um, from what i was um used to and it sounded so good but yes. um the first one that you you said the uh oh holy night man that was amazing Stop. that probably is by far my favorite on this album don't blue, copy and blue christmas <laughs> I really enjoy Blue Christmas a lot. Yeah, it's probably number two, but they're all just so good. It's hard to to really mm -hmm. pick which ones are like you know the best. Mm -hmm. I think the one that I like the least was probably um, probably Happy Xmas. I think that was the one. Um, it wasn't bad or anything. I enjoyed it. It's just all the other ones like really blew me away. Um, but it, this is a, a great album. I don't know, like when I was listening to Oh Come All He Faithful and I was hearing the choir, I said, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, I don't know, you guys, just in the second part of this album, she incorporated so many instrumentations, so many choirs, just everything. And like I said, Oh Come All He Faithful made me feel like I was legit at church mm -hmm. and Celine in the choir was performing mm -hmm. on stage and every single one of these songs all 12 of them 
were just phenomenal. And the way that she ended every single one yeah. of them was just great. Like, I, f I for real love this album. I'm going to download this album. And I'm going to keep listening to it. I'm yeah. going to listen to it as I wrap my Christmas presents, mm -hmm. as I do everything. I'm even going to listen to it when we're like, when it's like the new year and when we start to put away all of our Christmas stuff and we're, we're packing our Christmas tree and stuff away, yeah. all that. I'm still going to be listening to the song as I'm wrapping up. Like... Um, wow. Every single one of these songs get like a 10 for me. There's like one that I got like a 9, but yeah. I listened to so many, like, I don't even remember which one it was, but it was just like, it was okay, but it's just like every single one of them still blew me out this world. Feliz Navidad was a really fun one. It you was. could dance to that one. It was very fun and it was so interactive. She was like, come on, sing along with mm -hmm. me now or whatever. Like, and just, it was, it was so like energetic. Like it made me want to just push our seats out the way and yeah. just stand up for the whole rest of the song and just dance with it. All right, you guys. So good. which song was your absolute favorite from this album? We have all 12 of them. Which one was your guys' absolute favorite? Because to me, I, I can't choose one. I got to choose like at least three. And my first one was probably um, Oh Holy Night. My second one was probably Oh Come All He Faithful. And my third one was Blue Christmas. You are Those such a three copier. are my absolute favorite. How am I copying you when I, I said was just first? about to say that? Because you thought what I was going to think. <laughs> nah, but that was probably my favorite too. Yes. Um, Blue Christmas probably interchangeable with, um, with Feliz Navidad. But... Those but Feliz Navidad was such a fun song, yeah. like, I really loved it. And that's why it's up there with my other ones. That's why I said it's really hard for me to just rank them, mm -hmm. because they're all just so good in their own, own ways. Mm -hmm. Like, we could go and elaborate on every single one of them to why I really love that one. So it's just like, it's hard to just, it's hard to just pick, like, three. But for some of you guys that, um, you know, of course, love your Celine Dion, what are your guys' like at least three favorite songs from this album? That's pretty difficult to have an entire album and you like almost every single song on the album. That's what I said. That's, because it's that's just difficult. Like, I can listen to to different artists and I'm listening to these albums and I skip like every song because I'm just like, I don't like it. And there's always like one or two songs that I like. Right. And if you utilize Apple Music, if you have iPhones, generally when you go to albums, the ones that have like the stars next to it are the, you know, the the better ones that you know are on the album yeah. so it's like i'll listen to those ones i'll be like, oh yeah those are actually good then i'll listen to all the ones without the stars and i'm like yeah i don't actually like them but it's like both to this album mm -hmm. these are the special times and the courage album there were there really wasn't one song that i didn't like yeah the only I time that that, that happens to me is like with um certain christian artists such as like um kirk franklin I like his whole albums when they drop. Mm -hmm. um, Marvin Sapp. But see, even Kira Sheard's album dropped, like her newer one. And there was, I think, I don't know, let's just say hypothetically there was 15 songs on it. There was still like four that just, to me, didn't blow me away. Really? That wasn't that I love like. her, her uh, singing. Yeah. Her singing is beautiful. That's amazing. Yeah. But, yeah. But, oh goodness, guys, that was so, so, it's so good. good. That good. got me even more in the Christmas spirit. That was an amazing album, and I'm so happy that we're able to do it because that was really good, you guys. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, if you guys missed it, we are doing a small appreciation on our channel on uh, Christmas Day. So just send us a message on Instagram. Let us know what your guys' like, YouTube name is as well, just so that there's no confusion or anything like that. Yeah. And we can't wait until Christmas Day so we can give our small appreciation to one of you guys so thank you guys so much for watching today's video don't forget to like comment share and, and subscribe, subscribe to our channel because you don't want to miss our next video you and know. like we always like to say peace love and positivity y'all and we will see you in the next video we're out peace